This is Tim Tucker, AE6LX from WorldWideDX.com. Today we're going to install the Ellicraft 2 meter option in the Ellicraft KX3. So follow along. Alright, we've got the KX3 laid out. Here's the 2 meter module. Small little board in relation to the rest of the unit. Some basic tools, the cables, the shield, static mat, wristband, and we're all set to get started. Okay, the first thing you have to do is open up the radio and disconnect, well remove the batteries if you have them in there, disconnect the power from the, from the front and disconnect this ribbon cable. We're going to set this part aside here. We don't need this anymore. And the next thing is to remove this antenna tuner if you have it. The antenna tuner gets removed, the SMA cable gets attached under there, board gets installed, and then this cable gets installed here. Okay, you can see I've got the optional antenna tuner board out. It's just a matter of removing these two screws and unplugging the antenna cable here. And we're going to set this aside. The next thing we're going to do is remove this plug right next to the BNC cable. This hole is where the SMA connector goes. When this came in the package, this uh, connector had another lock washer on it and a nut. I just screwed these off the inside or the, the outside there because this is going to go in here like this. This plug has uh, little tabs on it, so some needle nose pliers or a small screwdriver, something to squeeze that so you can use your fingernails or something like that to, to pull it out. That's all you need to do. You can see it's a little tight, but that's okay. Pull that out. Okay. Now we're going to thread the coax through here like this. Screw this in. You want to make sure that there's no paint or anything like that on the other side. That's the ground. And we'll screw this in and then attach the nuts on the other side. And we'll be careful to route this the, through the uh, inductors and make sure this isn't touching any of those. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then show you the end result. Okay, we've got the SMA connector installed right here. See a lock washer on each side. You should also note that this SMA connector is D-shaped. Um, it's the flat side, it goes towards the base. And um, in my case, there was a little bit of paint that was on the inside of the hole, so I had to scrape that away to make sure it would fit in there nice and, nice and easy. And you want to make sure that these two inductors right here on either side are not touching the SMA connector. I actually had to, to move these aside just a little bit to make it clear and then route the, the cable according to the instructions. Okay, next we're going to install the local oscillator coax cable, which is this guy right here. To install the, this coax, it has to be installed right down in here. So if you have the optional filter, you have to take that out, which is just a matter of turning the screw right here part way out um, and unplugging it. It's just a real simple to pull out and set aside. Okay, So we're going to take this and the jumper or the plug where you put this jumper is right down in here. It's just a little flat connector. I'm just going to set it down, set it down in there, use my finger and probably use the end of a pen to snap it in place. Here's a little plastic pen and just install it. So it's a little tricky to get it all lined up, but that's okay, we'll get it here. So you can see I'm messing around over here just a little bit. It's just, if you have fat fingers like me, it's kind of down there a little ways. And there it is. Installed flat, just like that. One thing that's important to note about this cable is that the instructions are pretty clear. 
that you should route this coax so that the connector is not touching C180, which is a is a capacitor right down here next to it. So you can see I've got the tail of the connector pointing away. And basically what we're going to do is route this over across over here. Uh, but first before we do that we're going to install the filter board and then get ready to st install the 2 meter module. Okay, now we double check the routing of this coax cable. It'll go between the inductors as uh, described in the instructions. We're going to reinstall the tuner. Uh, it just snaps down the two different tuning blocks. And then we're going to install these standoffs after screwing the board back down in place and the 2 meter module goes right on top of here. Okay, we've got the antenna tuner back in place and instead of the the screws that were there before we've installed the standoffs. Um, here's the 2 meter board. As you can see there's a header block here and here. This is going to install like this. Okay, before we do that we have to attach the antenna cable here and the local oscillator cable over here. So that's what we're going to do next and then turn it upside down and push the whole thing down. Simple as that. Okay, I've got the board, the 2 meter module installed with the coaxes connected. Um, should note that the instructions say to when you install these connectors to set it down and put something behind it um, to support it. Um, I found I was able just to to put my finger on either side and thumb and just and then just press it together on either side um, and it didn't stress the board in any way or anything like that so it went on really easy for me so next we're going to install these screws with lock washers in place here and here and this flat head screw goes right here and the final final transistor PA transistor for the 2 meter board is right there this is really an important to install to make sure that you get a good uh, thermal connection um, to the to the transistor right there okay the other thing is to make sure that this coax cable right here does not go over or over any of these inductors the instructions are pretty clear to make sure it's routed between there um, so I'm going to double check that before I um, button this thing up and we're almost done. Okay, the last step before putting it all back together is to put this shield on. It only goes one way and it snaps into place. Make sure you snap down all four corners and you're good to go. The installation is done. Whiskey Alpha 6 Tango El Echo Delta, I think it was. Whiskey 6 TED AE6LX trying out the uh, new 2 meter module in the in the Electcraft KX3 transceiver that I just finished installing.